What are all those sticks doing there, Pinky? To keep the turkeys away. Oh, to keep the turkeys back from the food and water? Mm -hmm. So, what happened since this morning? All of her chicks hatched. How many does she have? Five. What colors are they? There's one that's yellow, um, black, kind of, kind of brown, kind of and like gray. Okay, more the skunky thing or more yeah, like more the... more like a skunk. Um, and then there's one that's like kind of gray with a little white dot on its head. Well, yellow dot. And then there's three other mostly gray ones. Alright, can you show me? Is that acceptable? So the turkeys will sneak over here and nibble on their feed. And they scared her off her nest a couple days ago. Yeah, and they'll peck her sometimes. Ouch! I don't know, that stick just landed on my back. It fell out of the tree. Ouch. I think this stick just fell out of the tree and hit me in the back. From somewhere up there. We're thinking of taking that tree out. It's just leaning over our house so much. In our bedroom. Oh, I hear it. It sounds like a brooder. Oh, wow. So here's two of the more fresh hatch ones. Okay. These ones have... Hop them back in and let them do their yeah. thing. I think that's enough disturbance for now. I was just curious. I can't see. That's okay. Oh, here's one. Oh, wow. With the dot on his head. Yeah. Awesome. It looks cute. Really cute. Whoa! What's that? This is the skunk one. It's like a bunch of different colors. That is amazing. That thing looks like a chipmunk, like a tiger striped. It looks like a fishing bait. <laughs> it is so colorful. You guys know those fishing baits that catch more fishermen than fish? They just look so amazing. People buy them. Wow. Child. That's awesome. I'll sneak it back and let it be warm. Let that good mama be. I'll let you cover up your hole again. Thank you for showing us. No uh, lambs yet? Uh, no, I thought there would be lambs already, but... Not yet. Can you see this one? Mm, the youngsters amongst us. It's sleeping. Yeah. This one has a dot in his head Tuck too. it back, tuck it back.
this. Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper. If you saw, rain's coming. So, took my table saw, put it under this lean-to here. Trying to organize some of the stuff and I wanted to get the rest of the ridge cap on. I uh, used a different color because my stuff's not sorted and organized. I didn't realize I had two more big sheets of this galvanized, you know, silver colored stuff. I'm not gonna swap it out now, but that's part of just kind of organizing, situating, getting stuff where it needs to be, where I can know what I have and just take a look and be like, ah, okay, this is how much resources that I have. And then I can get projects done a little more better or a little more uniform where I'm not changing up color halfway through. I don't really care. You know, it's on top of my shipping container. Unless you're flying in over in a helicopter or something, you're probably not gonna see it, but I could have made it the same color. So today is another day where we get to do a subscriber recommendation. This is subscriber recommended, Papa approved, so we're gonna do it and I think it's good. So in this video, you see how my gutter doesn't quite run to the end and also there is no downspout yet. My original plan was you can just cut a hole in there, flip down the flaps and screw that into your downspout and you don't actually need to buy the downspout section. A 10 foot piece of that type of gutter is about 10 bucks. To get the downspout section is another eight or nine bucks for something like this long. Well, I'd rather cut a little hole in that and have a downspout come down if the length is right. But here, I wound up about seven inches short. And on a recent video, Squirrely Acres, where nuts come together, commented this. You're making really great progress on your lean-to. Looks like a downspout section might get you to the end of your roof. And I thought, you know what? You are absolutely right. That makes so much sense. Um, rather than having it just be like that, I ran to town last night, picked up this little section. I'm gonna pop it in the end of there and then hook up. I got downspouts and all sorts of gutter stuff laying around here. Here's an example of one. And I got a lot of other gutter sections too. It's just uh, the amount I had I thought would work really good for my animal buildings already the poultry little houses and stuff like that. So I figured if I'm running 40 feet here, let's just pick up 40 you know, feet worth of stuff and go. But this is gonna get me where I need to be. So uh, Squirrely Acres, thank you for that. Um, couple things guys, number one, we read our comments. We don't always reply to them all, but we read them. 
we care enough about you guys to read the comments and we care enough about us to take them seriously. Something like this, this is, this is what it's designed to do because of the distance I gotta go. It's just gonna make sense, so I'm gonna get this ready because I think tomorrow we're probably having snow and after that the snow is gonna melt. If I just got a 40 foot by five inch trough up there, it may get too heavy and just fall off and break off if it ain't got no way to get out. So I was gonna solve this problem one way or another. That comment provided me the best way to do it just because I got that extra distance to go. So I'm gonna get this up there. Thank you, Squirrely Acres. So this is a rough one. Um, for my impact, I've got like quarter inch and three eighths inch um, guys for most of my, yeah, most of the things I deal with, whether it's the uh, roofing screws or when I picked up those spikes recently, but I wanted a couple longer ones for one section in there and I didn't realize I had half inch heads. Man. I gotta get this done. I gotta put these in to get the other guys out. I don't have a half inch one. I do got, you know, a half inch socket, but I don't got attachment for that. Not right now, and town's a half hour away, hour round trip, plus sitting at the store. So I think I'm gonna take this rebar and uh, just fabricate something. This actually was going to be a spear for spear fishing, but it, it's too heavy for the way I wanted to use it. That would probably work for gigging. But I'm gonna take a section off of here and I'm just gonna see if I can make something that'll fit in there and then something that'll fit in the... Mm, maybe I'll try the regular screw gun. The drill. Um, that'll be easier. But then if need be, I might have to make something for the impact. I don't know. I just want to get this done because rain's coming tomorrow and in a couple hours I'm done working for the week. So let's figure it out. This project reminds me once, uh, me and a friend of mine that lived down in New Orleans for a while, um, had some friends who were getting married and they were getting married at the Audubon Park under what they call the Tree of Life, a big live oak. And uh, we were kind of the two guys entrusted with making sure everything got the way it was supposed to be um, for that wedding. So the guys who showed up to set up the whole platform, it was a bunch of squares uh, large squares, I think they were maybe four by four, maybe six by six, but when you put them next to each other, there was a little latch that would lock them all together. They didn't have the tool. The workers who showed up did not have the tool to turn the latches and click all the platforms together. So as everyone's looking around or whatever, I just kind of pull out a knife, start whittling on a piece of wood. I think it was kind of shaped like a T. So I kind of made a handle and I had the part that then I just kind of looked at it and fashioned the square, because it was kind of similar to what I'm dealing with here, where it was just a square piece, and I whittled them a piece. And I said, well, this ought to work, and I went over, locked it, locked it, locked it, locked it, and they're like, whoa, that's amazing. And uh, the lady kind of running the show there who was supervising the workers, uh, you know, she's like, do you guys want a job? <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. And I said, no, nah, you know, and uh, gave them the tool. I said, guys, I'm gonna put this tool here, make sure whoever comes to take this down when you guys are done either has your tool or this one I made you, because I've got other plans for tonight. 
And uh, sure enough, they came back and nobody knew it was up. I had to go off to the reception and stuff, so I said, I carved them last time, you guys should be able to figure it out. But their options were limited. I was entrusted with, let's make sure this wedding goes good. So I said, all right, these guys are ill-equipped to accomplish what they need to. I can make something that's gonna get this job done. Let's do it here. It's a time issue. Stage one, now complete. See that? That fits on there good. And these big old eight inchers, they fit on there good. So now I just need this cut off and shaped to where it's gonna fit in my guy. And uh, we'll be good to go. Options are limited. And uh, as long as this takes me less than an hour, I'll have saved time. is that I'll be able to do this with just the drill gun. Um, I'm going in a pre-existing hole that's already six inches deep, so that'll help. But I kind of wanted to shape it out a little closer to what I would need for the impact in case that's not strong enough. Um, cool thing is my original guy can still be used as a gig as well. Um, the rebar I cut this off of, not bad. So now, we'll see if it works. Since I'm changing things up and going from the six incher to the eight, obviously it's got a half inch head instead of a three-eighths, but also these tubes I picked up are not going to work. However, I took in some recycling, I think yesterday, and I picked up something from the scraps that may have been, may be useful. Also, it just started to rain, so I gotta get this downspout on. So the recycling center people know me. I think they like me. At least some of the loaders do, because that's also where I get my free compost or wood mulch. And they say, you know, if I see anything there I want or could use, feel free. Just don't climb in the bins. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, I don't even know what it is, but I took it yesterday. Out of the metal recycling. What are the odds of that? Wow. Okay, so here we go. Here's this thing. Obviously it was somebody something, but I thought, hey, it's got some it's got some tubes. I could use that for something. Maybe it'll come in handy. 
I did not have this before yesterday. That is rather insane and perfect that I just see something like that laying in all the uh, metal recycling and go, hmm, looks like it could be useful for me after all. I'm messing with my free sources right now. That looks like a good free source. I could probably find a use for it. Boom. About 24 hours later, here I go. How awesome is that? Man. Life doesn't always work out, but sometimes when it does, it's kind of impressive. Boy, these are almost at the right length, too. I'll tell you what, too, I bet you I could make some bamboo stuff and uh, give the kids these little corner connectors. And I bet you they could have all sorts of fun. But yeah, look at that. All these metal pipes. No way. Ah, it'd be good on these, but I gotta cut them down to, I think, five inches I had them. Yeah. They just shave a little bit off of there. And I mean, they look the same because this is thicker. But this one's thinner, so it's about the same diameter. It just, uh, enough of a difference that it fits this. Ha! That's awesome. Life doesn't always work out like that, but when it does, that's insane. Ugh. And again, just so much more of an issue than, you know, if I lived in town next to Home Depot or something. Um, you just run and pick up everything, but we like to, uh, and I hope my next video is going to touch on this too, you know, we like to be products of our environment, learn how to solve our problems from in our environment, set ourselves up for success with both creativity and education, you know, information, and then be able to succeed in these things in life. Now let's do it. Bug, did you bring that yeah. for my camera? Yeah. Dude, look at this four-year-old. All right, I'll set the I'll set the camera up over here to get my shot, and we'll cover it with that. Bug, you're a smart little guy. Whoa, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. I'm still picking that stuff up. We'll get there. Ah. Four-year-old brings me a umbrella for my camera. Up here, I'll have to take this end cap off, and I sealed it on, so I'll cut that free. I'll put a splicer in, and then I'll hook up this guy out the end, and we'll have our downspout. So, that's what I gotta do right now, as it's raining. Thankfully, it's just drizzling so far, but... Won't be too long and this whole thing will be cleaned up and that's gonna be exciting. Huh. Hey look, you guys see that on my knife? See that fur? Guess what I did last with this knife? Let me know in the comments if you think you got a guess. I'm just gonna put that on for now. I'll seal it up later. The uh, sealer I have can actually be used when it is wet, but I'd prefer to have it be dry. To help this thing slide on, I like to hit all those flanges up a little bit. I can put them back down afterwards, but if they're really tight, it's a pain to even try to get this on here. So at the moment, now we kind of have the opposite problem where it's too far instead of too short, but I'm actually going to put a board on the end of there and some 
then hanging down all those flaps um, to prevent the water from coming in and then put a little piece of trim up and then I'll add a little bit more roof up there with all the extra roofing material I got <laughs> it's just throwing two more pieces up if I had to go to the store and buy it sure it'd be another 30 or 40 bucks on a project that would be different so I'm gonna have it hang out a little extra that is absolutely fine what I got going on right now and then we're going to hook up this downspout so it at least uh, runs it down and back a little bit. Oh, and I found something. You guys are probably gonna like this. Check this out, look what I found in my pile. An end cap, downspout hole. <laughs> I took an hour to run to town last night, spent another eight, nine bucks to buy that little piece. I had a piece shaped the right way, it's got the right stuff on it, even this is, you know, two dollars for that little piece. I had the downspout thing ready on it. And here's a good example. Um, see that? That was just cut in there. They didn't buy the downspout piece. That's what I was going to do until I realized I had that little bit more to go. That suggestion was offered, went and got it. And uh, yes, it's important to get the rain out of that gutter or I've got a trough. It was a good suggestion. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I'm also doing this because now, next time I'll know I've already got one of these. And I'll probably pop this piece off of here and use it on this downspout to hook this up, uh, this elbow here. I've got some other ones that are brown in my collections of free sources, but since this one's gonna be kind of visible from the main area, we'll, we'll keep this one white and run that down. Oh, amazing, isn't it? Let me get this hooked up. I'll show you what it looks like. And uh, then maybe we'll check out those little chicks again. This is a better look at that one they got cut into to make a downspout hole. Honestly guys, if you're doing it yourself, do it this way unless you need that tiny little bit. It's not that hard to cut a hole in here and then have some stuff to screw into where the downspout hooks up. This was my original idea. That's what I was planning on doing, but I didn't realize I had A, pieces like this, or B, that I was gonna wind up just a couple inches short. So now that's attached there. I'm just gonna lash it to here for now, but the goal will be to eventually put water catchment somewhere off of the side. And I cut it at a little bit sharper angle because it can actually go up and run farther this way. I may have it come back to over, over here in this section for the catchment. And then from that water catchment here, it's a downhill slope to one of my pastures and stuff, so I could always use that to water uh, some of the sheep and stuff as I rotationally graze them around the property too, but I'm excited. We got a downspout on, and I might, might try to make that piece I made impact compatible. If you notice, these pieces here for the impact, they're going to be hexagon shaped and they're gonna have that ridge. Whatever goes in there, there's two different guys. Right, a T25 and then a eight millimeter. Here's a uh, drill bit, you know, same thing. Here's the uh, 3 8 inch. So all those are gonna be the same on the end. I tried to make that same hexagon and pop that ridge in there to have this work with my impact. Guys, this is a rebar. I freehanded this. I'm just, I'm blown away, especially because I only got that uh, grinder. This guy a couple weeks ago, and that's all I used, freehanding it. There was no vices, no precision technology. Look at this. But if I take this, here's a, an actual guy for it. Let's listen. Hear that? Put in and it locks and you can't pull it out. Do this and it jumps out, it ejects. Listen to this, guys. 
I gotta pull it forward. There you go. But it locks in. Ha! That is so crazy. That's not too bad at all. I don't have a half, well no, a half inch is the attachment I got. Wow. I don't know. I uh, obviously don't always do things like this, so it's kind of... Oops. Now let's go get that piece in. Well, the rain stopped for now, but see that? My regular drill gun did not have the power that this impact has. Now the impact has the right tool. <laughs> let's see what happens. There it is, exactly where I want it. That spacer on the inside of there to prevent it from crushing. Ha! That is insane, guys. I'm uh, obviously still blown away by it. Look at that, that is crazy. And now I could use it with whatever size socket I want. You know? Wow. Guys, just with a grinder real quick. I'm gonna have to keep that, kind of like that tool I gave those guys at that wedding. There we go. Wow. That's crazy, guys. I am so excited. Anyway, we appreciate you guys caring enough about us to give us good suggestions. Um, we can't apply them all, and also in a world of thousands and thousands of suggestions. There might be a ton of good ones. Just because we don't choose yours doesn't mean anything, no hard feelings. And I think what I'm gonna do is kind of continue with a uh, series. I'll probably make it into a playlist of just, you know, subscriber recommended, Papa approved. This is three videos so far, so. If you guys do have good recommendations and I decide to make a video out of them, I'll feature them in there. If you got a channel you're trying to grow, um, you know, I'll, I'll link it. I'll, uh, I'll mention who said it and things like that because uh, we just hit 15,000 subscribers recently. That's crazy. We hit 10,000 last February. So in less than a year, we went up 5,000 subs. For a channel like ours, that's really good. Um, you know, if I had a half million subscribers and you go up 5,000 in a year, that's not gonna be too impressive. But that's not where we're at, so I, I thank you guys for that. Um, and I don't mind taking those 5,000 subs, you know, and sending out some stuff. Boy, I just picked up this broken leaf spring off a thing. But I don't think it'd be too hard. Put a handle on there, flatten this out a little bit, make a, make a nice ax. I don't know, I got a guy who uh, does blacksmithing. And uh, he'd like that too. So I'll probably do that, but downspout is on, project is coming. Hey, that ridge cap's done up top too. Uh, once I get these things filled, I'll show you what's going on here. So this is like my eight foot and six foot section comes back to there. Here, I'm gonna have a whole series of them coming down, but I was just starting at the top with the lighter stuff, a bunch of the small metal gutters, downspouts, uh, ridge caps, end caps, all sorts of different stuff. And then down, I'll make it some other stuff. We'll put in a lot of our longer lumber. You can see there's longer lumber right back over there and there. We'll put some of that there. Eventually probably stuff like that too. And then I'm actually thinking I'm gonna get these 50 some 18 foot guys out of here, put them over there near the bottom and uh, then put my kayaks in this section. And then this little area here will be open for things like my table saw and different stuff. So I'll store them here, be able to pull them out, work in that area. And of course I want this clear so I can pull a vehicle in if we got bad weather. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you all once again. We will see you next time. Papa out.